Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? It's your boy Galaxy J1 Picking for Mami Aero Start that in the building Alright Okay uh, Today I decided to do this video before step it out I'm right now in Boya and I'm going to the office So to handle some few things So this thought came to my mind And I want to share it with you guys Because it's been one of the problems I'm seeing in the African community and Cameroonian com community especially, you know. Uh, this is about the competitive method and the creative method. Everybody, we all want, you know, that certain things we want uh, in this life, you know. And everybody wants those things, you know. We all want wealth, we want to achieve wealth, we want to be successful, we want to grow, we want to see how our lives expand in every aspect of our endeavors. And as we go about it, there is a lot of friction, you know, going going along, you know, creating what you want, hustling, interacting, negotiating partnering, selling, and providing services, you know, to the people we meet every day. And as we do that, uh, there is a feeling that comes to our minds and we, we don't know how to categorize that and make meaning out of it. And I've been studying that for like five years and I want to share that with you. This is about the creative method and the competitive method. Real quick, people who use the competitive method, when they grow up, when they progress, when they achieve great steps, when they make great strides, what they do is that the ladder through which they climb, they push it away. So no one will be able to climb to that ladder and meet them. They want to be the only light inside the room. They want to be the only people with money. They want to be with the only people with enlightenment. They want to be the only people with the contacts. They want to be the only people with the platform. They want to be the only people with the opportunity so that every other person should be looking up to them so they feel so superior. And most of them, they call themselves self-made. I've been, I've been seeing them, especially on social media, especially on Facebook. Guys whom were begging me up and down, you know, back in the days, today, they have seen the limelight and I'm seeing a lot of arrogance. These guys won't call me anymore. Guys who were calling me till 1, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. Oh, Galaxy, I want you to do this for me. Oh, this is it. Today I'm seeing them self-made. When I chop here. But I'm not, I'm not here to talk about you guys. I'm here to talk about, you know, a lot of people that I see in that, in that direction doing things like that. Whenever I catch myself, Getting into that mindset, I say, Hey, please hold on. You are using the competitive approach here, it's not good. I'm also guilty of it. I'm not saying like I'm the righteous one and every other person. Sometimes I'm also guilty of that feeling. But the more I learn, the more I turn to see that, Oh, that's an inferior way of thinking, that's a very limited perspective. There's a saying that goes thus. Uh, will, willingly give and graciously receive. I repeat, willingly give and graciously receive. When you give, <laughs> you are planting a seed. Trust me, I'm a testimony. So, if I tell you, you will not believe. Who don't feel rich me for this country? Eh? Who is my age? Who? I feel in all types of businesses. I don't, I don't force you. Guess what? The moment uh, my own breakthrough came, I call it breakthrough because since then, no, no, no. God has been faithful. This one, I was not doing anything and I didn't do anything to deserve that. And I was like, hey, something is happening here. What happened to all the hustle that I hustled? All the failure, all the, tr you know, trying and, you know, now I didn't do anything, then favor comes to me like this. I didn't do anything. This is just grace. Back to the subject. The competitive method 
it's not good. The creative method is the right way to go about things. You want to go about things like uh, any person I meet. This is how I tell myself every day. As I step out of this house, oh God, bless me with the wisdom, with the energy that when I encounter any person, I should be able to give that person so much love, so much value that can improve that person's life and reality. Please give me the grace, give me uh, the wisdom to be of help to as many people as possible. I don't compete. I partner. That's why I tell guys, um, recently I told, I said, no, I'm not, I'm not an entrepreneur because I see a lot of entrepreneurs all over the world, even in the, in the United States, saying, oh, I'm self-made, oh, this, 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 taking all the credit. See, me, um, I cannot take credit for anything. Because when God blessed me, I didn't do anything to deserve it. Anything to deserve it. In fact, the time I was working so hard, that is when I was at my, uh, how do they call it, <laughs> rock bottom. No money. Boy, yeah, bad. Speaking for mommy, yeah, yeah, bad, you know. So when I didn't do anything, God bless me. So that does not mean you should go and sit lazy, not doing anything. <laughs> I've not told you the whole story. But I cannot take credit for anything. It's been the blessings of others. It's been true others. It's been people, you know, blessing me. It's been someone recommending me. It's been someone reaching out to me. It's been someone advising me. It's been someone, by the way, without all my friends, my family, my relatives, my contacts, my network, I would have been dead by now. Well, if I was counting all your mommy Eru or my retired father, I would not die by now now. There are other people. The taxi man who carried you. The woman who sold you food. The person who brought you the parcel. A lot of people are contributing to making your life a reality. So, guess what? You have to always step out and provide service, provide value. Don't sleep in your house idling. Do not do that. Don't say, oh, there's no job. There are jobs. There's so much to be do, especially in Africa, especially in Cameroon. You see Cameroon? Cameroon has the highest problems in this world. And you know where the biggest opportunities are? They're in places where there are problems. Because if you find solutions to those problems, then you create value, then money follows you. So people who use the creative method, when they grow, they instead, you know, hold the ladder so that other people will climb. That's a creative method. Hold the ladder firm and say, guys, get up. Climb. Climb. I'm here holding it. You will not fall. Oh, it's shaking. No, I'm holding it for you. I'm holding it. I'm holding it for you. Climb. Climb. Hold my hand. Yeah. You're up here. That's a creative method. I'm emphasizing on that because that's what I, I do. And that's what I want us to do. If we do that in our community, we'll have a lot of successful people. If you sell one thing like we are, I'm selling, um, I'm a, an agent, a sales agent for authentic um, cosmetic, authentic coconut oil. If you guys have money, you'll be able to buy my products. That's why I, I pray every day that God should bless you people with the, maybe with a job offer, with a contract, you know, so you be, you have money to come and buy. We are so broke in Cameroon, in Africa, and that's because of our mindset. We don't share. We are so individualistic. Let's change that. Let's work together. Let's help each other. Through the creative method. I repeat the creative method. When you go up, hold the ladder for your brother to climb. Give a helping hand. Pull your brother up. Don't, don't be those who come on social media, post pictures, do this, just to show off. Then they push the ladder. Then... Since the God is now very easy for everyone to use, you ask me, Bo, how you do this thing? Eh? Oh, now God, oh. You will not say, oh, guess what, man? I reached out to this person, and this person helped me, and that's how he got me to this other person, and that's how I connected, you know. Bo, don't worry. Eh? Have faith. Your time is coming. I can help you with this. 
but you know you need to be patient you need to work hard you need to focus you see anytime you need help i'm always available that's the creative method i'm galaxy j1 picking for mommy arrow star daddy in the building you already know all right love you so much uh you know i believe in you more than you believe in yourself so let's make it happen let's create a community of game changers of change makers let's share our energy and let's make this world a better place ciao